Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to use should, have to and must. I want to start with should. We generally use should to give advice and to offer opinions. In other words, we use should to say it's a good idea and shouldn't to say it's not a good idea. Let's look at the examples together. You should get a haircut. As you see here, should comes after the subject and before the verb. You cannot use should with another model verb. And after should, you use the base form of the verb. What is the base form of the verb? It means verb one. You should eat more fresh fruit. She should study more if she wants to pass this exam. These are the positive sentences which should. Let's continue with the negative one. They shouldn't be here. Your job is great. You shouldn't change it. That means it's not a good idea to change your job. Okay? Don't forget, we use should to talk about what is the best thing to do in a situation. You shouldn't drink too much coffee. You see verb one here in negative sentences too. And the question form. In the question form, the subject and should change position. What should I wear today? What should I do? Should I look for a new job? Let's continue with have to. You can use have to with different tenses, but here in this lesson, we will talk about using it with present simple tense. We use have to to talk about obligation, things that are necessary to do. We will start with positive sentences. I have to wear a tie at work. My sister has to be at home at seven. With IUV day, we use have to. With he, she, it, we use has to. After have to and has to, we use verb one. They have to work on Sundays. Negative form. The negative form means you do not need to do something, but if you want to do it, it is fine. Don't have to means there is no obligation to do something, okay? No obligation. For example, I don't have to work on Sundays. My brother doesn't have to get up early at the weekends. Now, I want you to remember present simple rules. If you want to make a negative sentence with have to, with IUV day, you will use don't. With he, she, it, you will use doesn't. And in the negative form, we don't use has to, we need to use have to with verb one. You don't have to sleep early today. Question form. When do you have to go home? Does your father have to travel a lot? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. 
with IUV day, we use do to make a question. With he, she, it, we use does. Also, in the question form, we don't use has to, okay? We, we can only use have to to make a question. Does she have to leave now? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. And must. Like have to, must is also used to express obligation or the need to do something. We can use have to with different tenses, but must can be used to talk about the present or the future, okay? Let's read the explanation part. We often use must to say that something is essential. We use must, must not or mustn't to say that something is not permitted or allowed. For example, I must go now. You must fasten your seat belt. As you see, after must, we use verb one, the base form of the verb. Passengers mustn't talk to the driver. That means it is forbidden to talk to the driver, okay? It's not allowed. You mustn't arrive late. And question form. If you want to make a question with must, you need to use must at the beginning of the sentence. Must we do our homework? Must you go? Now, we are going to do an exercise. It says, choose the correct option. Let's start with the first one. Look at the subject. It says, people. As you know, people means more than one person. So, we can't use option C and option A because it's plural. Now, you you need to think about the meaning and the answer is we have to people have to eat food to stay alive okay we are talking about an obligation here number two now you see a question form and the subject is a secretary so, we can't use C or D. Now, remember the rule. In the question form, we don't use has to. The answer is A. Does a secretary have to know how to type? Number three. It says, which sentence is correct? B is the correct option here. Do I have to call her? Does I have to call her? It is wrong because with I, we don't use does. And here, in question form, we don't use has to. Question four, which sentence is correct? This question is about mustn't. C is the correct option because after mustn't or must, we use verb one. We never use verb ing or to. Look at question five. It is very cold today. You should wear a jacket. Think about the meaning. We are giving advice here. And question six. Daisy says, 
I've got a headache. The correct option is should sleep. You should sleep for an hour. Remember, after should, we use the base form. We never use verb ing. Also, with you, we don't use has to. And after mustn't, we don't use verb ing. Question 7. Which sentence is correct? You mustn't swim here. Mustn't plus verb 1. Number 8. Which sentence is correct? The correct one is option C. You don't have to pay. With you, we don't use doesn't. And negative form of have to isn't having to. This is wrong. Now, we will fill in the blanks with should or shouldn't. You need to think about the meaning of the sentence. First one, he is always tired. He shouldn't go to bed late. Second one, you should eat fruit and vegetables every day. Third one, if you have a problem with her, you should tell her. Fourth question, you shouldn't cross the street at red traffic lights. Fifth question, Jim is always late to work. He should get up earlier. Question six, I think you should spend less money on clothes. They are too expensive. You should knock on the door before entering the classroom. Our neighbors shouldn't play the music that loud. You should go to the dentists if you have a toothache. The kids shouldn't spend so much time in front of the TV. And 11, you should exercise more. Now we will complete the sentences with must or mustn't. Again, you need to think about the meaning of the sentence. Let's start with the first one. You mustn't write on the desks. It is not allowed to write on the desks. Number two, we must respect the rules. It's an obligation, okay? Number three, students mustn't cheat during a test. Number four, we mustn't sleep in class. It's not allowed. And last one, we must stand up when the teacher arrives in the classroom. Now you see a short text, but in this text, there are some mistakes. We will find the mistakes and then we will correct them. Let's start reading it. My mother have to do a lot of housework. You can see the first mistake here. My mother has to do a lot of housework. Remember the rule with he, she, it, we use has to. She has to cooking every day. Here is another mistake. Remember, after have to or has to, we use verb one. So the correct sentence is she has to cook every day. 
She has to did the washing up, but she don't have to take the garbage out. We never say she has to did. We say she has to do. And you can see a negative sentence here, but there's a mistake. We say she doesn't have to. My father does that. She has cleaned the house. Here is the fifth mistake. She has to clean the house. I have to helping my mother with cleaning, but I like it. I have to helping. This is wrong. I have to help my brother. Sorry, my mother. I has to clean my room once a week. As you know, with IUV day, we use have to. I have one brother and he is younger than me. He don't have to help my mother for now. And this is the last mistake in negative sentences with he, we need to use doesn't. Okay, this was the last exercise for today. Thanks for listening.